Okay, so today we're going to look at uh, art materials because honestly, I've done this one before and um, it's uh, I've been over uh, everything I've used before, but I get asked a lot and I'm getting asked again at the moment. So I'm going to show you what I use. Let's be quick about it. First of all, here we go. This is a uh, rotaring uh, mechanical pencil and this takes 0.5 leads and this is what I use for me sketching. The initial sketch uh, is that one, and uh, this is what I use to ink. Now I've got to use three sizes. So this one is a 0.4, this one is 0.5, and that is a 0.3. So I don't go lower than a three because, honestly, for, for my kind of work, I'm not using lines that are 0.1 or 0.2, so there's no point. Um, 0.4, I generally use 0.4 for most things. 0.5. So I've got to get a new one actually, that is that is stuffed, that one. I can barely use it anymore. But um, they do last quite a long time, they're quite sturdy actually, the old uh, staplers. Um, they're very, very good, but very good for, for a fine line work. I hope I'm not racing through it too quick. This is a Pigmographic 1, you see that? A 1. That is for thicker line work, as you can see there. Should be doing this, shouldn't I? I should, uh, I should get a bit of paper and uh, and show you. I'll get me um I'll get me a scrap. Where is it? Here it is. Give me a bit of scrap. So that one, that's your line there. That's your line weight. This one, that's a uh, point three. This one, that's a uh, doesn't look much different. That's a point four. This one is my slightly cream crackered 0.5. It's just about still in the game. Reckon I'll probably manage another illustration tonight with that before it finally gives up the ghost. Uh, let's talk colours. So after you've done your uh, your inking with these ones, you move on to your colours. Now colours for me, primarily these style file double ended markers. So you've got a big fat end this end, like that, or like that, thin end, like that. And they're alcohol markers, so they blend nicely. And, uh, and these are my go-to. I've got a full set of these, basically. And they don't have as many colours as Copics or anything, but they're a bit cheaper than Copics, and they're easy to get hold of for me, and I really like them. I know what these markers can do. I know exactly the limitations of what these can do. So that's the best thing you can do. Stick with a brand, work out what they can do, and uh, and it will serve your, your piece your pieces in the end. Uh, this is something else I use, Pro Markers. These are cheaper still. Um, slightly different. So you get a nice line off that. They're double-ended again, though. So you get... I just love that yellowy-green. I bloody love it. There we go. So yeah, I don't know if they make them quite like this anymore. I think they might have <coughs> upgraded them since or something, but some but Pro Markers really nice. Alcohol markers again, you can use them in conjunction with these. I know because I've done it many times. Uh, very, very blendable, these ones as well. Get some nice blends off these. That's your, so that's your colour work. If you want to go even finer, these. Stabilo 0.88. There's your line of them. Got a whole bunch of colours you can get for them as well. That's for your little bit of fine, fine detailing that you want to do in your black book pieces. Stabilo the below 0.88. Then we get into uh, a different area, which is... Um, oh, actually, do you know what? Before I do that, I'll just show you these. Look at these, right? So these colours, these are just separates for me. These are essentially... Sharpies, except then they're unbranded Sharpies. Shut art, they call themselves. Because um, I used to use Sharpies all the time. Then I find these. That full set cost me £15. What's that? It's just like $22 or something. Look at them. They're brilliant. They're exactly the same size as, as Sharpies. And I, what I use them for, uh, I'll show you. I'll show you what I use them for. Yeah, that's the best thing, isn't it? Right, so I've got something called a Sineo. And Sineos, right, these are brilliant. They're, they are uh, basically 
uh, a manual airbrush. So you take the top off like that, top off your pen like that, you stick your pen down there, brush it in, there we go. And what you do, you blow down that end and it comes out that end. See that? Beautiful, beautiful. You get amazing effects that look like airbrush effects on your uh, on your black book pieces. Brush it, get it out again. There we go. Lid on. And like I say, because I use them for that, it's good to have a full set. So I've got every colour that I could possibly need to stick on my black book pieces for whenever I need it. Because I did just have a couple of, you know, small set of Sharpies. I think Sharpies are like, you know, two or three times the price of these as well. So Amazon. Get on it. Um, so there's that, yeah. And, and Signio, uh, go to signio.uk or .co.uk, whatever it is. Get yourself one of them. They are really brilliant. Really brilliant. He's on Instagram, this fella, as well. Uh, go and have a look at his stuff. You get other great effects off this. I've used it to great effect. So there's that. Okay, what else are we on? Um, Colours. Colours. Paint markers. That's what we're on, isn't it? So... I use a lot of Posca, and that's a big fat Posca. Don't need to uh, tell any writers about what a big fat Posca is. There we go. Nice big fat line there. This is um, slightly running out now. I need to get a new one. Um, next size down. These have all got names, by the way. This is what you know, PC eighty five F, whatever. This, you know, you don't need to know the the the, the, the size name because you'll just know it by sight of how big it is. So that's, uh, these used to be, back in the day when I was naughty, like everybody else, these were like the ones that we used a lot. Um, of course, don't do anything like that anymore. Um, this is the next size down again. Nice, uh, nice fat line there. Beautiful, beautiful color as well. They do different colours in different ranges as well. Some colours they don't do at the different sizes. Next size down again. This is a bit finer. There you go. Can you see that? It's a bit finer there. That one there. Beautiful. And finally, this is the finest one they do. And these are the ones I'm most interested in. Because these are the ones that I can get fine lines on. Me, uh, on me black book pieces with. See that? Nice fine nib there. And as you can see. Yes, super fine lines on there. Good range of colours. Obviously, you want a white one for your highlights, that sort of stuff. But you want, you know, generally you want whatever colour you can you can get your your hands on. So if you need to do any uh, uh, opaque lines on your on your black book work, you can do it. The other ones I use, which are debatedly debatably better than Posca. Well, yeah, there we go. The Molotov One for All. These are really good. The 127HS. These are top, top quality. The valve in them is amazing. Really amazing valve in them. So you get great, look at that, beautiful, beautiful coverage with them. And um, great range of colours, again. And uh, what was I was going to say about these? The, the nibs are a bit dodgy. The, the nibs are not as tough as Posca nibs. Posca nibs are quite tough, whereas these ones are not. But you can replace the nibs. That's the beauty of these ones. And they're refillable. Poscas are not refillable. Uh, these are refillable with these. I've got a load of this. A load of one for all acrylic paint. Lots of it. It's a bit of a fiddly business, but you can do it. And uh, And obviously, because you can do that, you can mix your colours as well, so you make your own colours. And they do empties, which I've, I've got a few, I've got a bunch of there. A bunch of empties there as well, so you can mix up your own colours and uh, create your own mess. I've got a bunch of nibs in there as well, as you can see. Good, always, there's some fat ones there, some skinny ones there, some super skinnies in fact. Always good to have extra supplies up your sleeve if you can to hand just in case the old uh, graphic shop is not open um now somebody was asking me about paper the other day 
this is it. This is the one. This is the one for me. So, De La Roni, smooth heavyweight. It's uh, a 220 GSM, which means it's it's nice and thick, but not not too thick. It's not like absolute card or anything. It's very similar to Bristol. I don't think it's quite as um, quite as thick as Bristol, but it's for me it's perfect because also it's smooth. Uh, I do sometimes use. Um, let's see if I can find it. It's up here somewhere. I use this one sometimes. So this is this is slightly bigger as well. By the way, this one is um, about A4 size, about 30 mil by 21 mil. Uh, this one bigger, twice as big, uh, 42 mil by 30 mil, A3 size. And the thing is about this, it's heavyweight, but it's fine grain, which means you, you get more of a tooth in the paper. Look up on there. Something that's just a template around template I've drawn on there. Um, if you can, you probably can't make out the grain, it's grainier basically. It's a grainier paper, really nice though. Same brand, Dana Rani. Um, this is the best paper I've, I've been able to uh to source. I mean, you know, I've been sourcing paper for years and years and years. I don't buy black books anymore, uh, at the actual books because you can't guarantee the paper quality. And the last one I got was really poor really poor quality and uh i was not impressed with that at all so i'll stick to this now and um and yeah yeah i think that's about it really uh other than this of course which is the trusty ballpoint everybody needs some of them i literally buy them by the box load <laughs> because why wouldn't you because they get lost all the time uh, i use other things as well i use things like you know your classic eddings um that's a there's a that's a, a, a bullet point and a chisel point. Uh, you've got to use Eddings because Eddings are the go-to. Here's another one there. Yeah, Eddings are your, your go-to, your classic writer's pen. The Edding 850. I think, did everybody start with it? Every we start tagging with an Edding 850 back in the day? We did in the 80s. Um, what else is I mean, there's bits and pieces. All sort of, I mean, this one as well. This is a classic, which is the Pentel White. Again, it's a big tagging pen. I don't tag with it, obviously. Wouldn't do anything like that. But it's a solvent-based white. So you can get a very opaque white. You've got to shake it really, really well. You've got to shake it for about five minutes. Otherwise, it, uh, it doesn't come up well. But, um, yeah, the Pentel White. This one, back in the 80s, you'd see uh, backs of bus seats were completely bombed out with these, with um, with Pentels. Uh, because it offered such a good, uh, good white white coverage it was a great white line um yeah other than that i think that's about it really that's about the lot i don't really use anything other than that uh that i can think of that is everything so um so there you go guys oh no what am i saying what am i talking about what am i talking about i use these sometimes pencils karen dash these ones so these are French, French, what am I talking about? Sorry, 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 sorry guys, sorry guys. Swiss, Swiss. <laughs> much, uh, much swankier. Um, and these are really soft. Let me show you. Show you on the cover of this. So these are really soft pencils. So what you get with a really soft pencil is you can do a really, really heavy color like that. But you can also do a really light color like that. And because they're so soft, they also, blend not very well on this card <laughs> can you see that though you moisten your finger a little bit you blend it in give it a rub look at that i mean even on a pathetic surface like that you get a blend so what you do generally what you do is a quick tip before i run out of time is you do a fill with your uh, with your purple or whatever and then you come in, I'll do a proper tutorial on this one, son. And then you come in with your uh, with your other colour, like this. Obviously, I'm just doing this quick. I feel like I'm on Blue Peter or something. There we go. And then you just sort of blend it up. There you go. There's a messy job for you. But but that that that's what you can do. You can blend in a block colour like that. And do a nice exacting job with a lovely blend on it. And... Uh, 
yeah i will do some for you where you can see it properly but anyway guys that's it i'll call it a day there that really is everything and uh hope you get something from it